One of the things that was mentioned was um, performance nerves. And Kate was asking, how do we deal with performance nerves? So has anyone got any um, thoughts on that subject to start off with? Lorna, since you're a piano teacher of many years experience, what do you tell your students about nerves and coping with them? A uh, good gin before their performance is a good idea. <laughs> a good gin, yeah, but uh, for younger students maybe that's not an option. No, um, no. Um, well I think leading up to the performance is very important at their ease, they're well prepared and they mm -hmm. feel confident and lots of praise before they go up and even more praise when they're, when they're done. I think that's the most important thing but certainly preparation is important. Absolutely, and, yeah. And so I will video them beforehand to give them confidence to play in front of something, even if it's not somebody, and play it back and just to give them that confidence that they can do it. That's a very good idea, actually. I mean, I think I do the same with my students, um, get them to make videos of themselves or I make a video of them and then they can listen to themselves. And that little bit of extra pressure having the camera on you sort of gets you just a bit more comfortable with raising your game, let's put it that way, yes? Um, and preparation, yeah. If you know you can do something, and you know, you know that you don't have a problem with it in, uh, in your normal practice, then there shouldn't be a problem in the in the real life situation, yeah? Um, anyone else want to have their two pence worth? Rachel? I've got um, a bit for the adults. Um, I think sometimes, when the nerves become uncontrollable, you can certainly try a small amount of beta blockers. And I always have bark remedy before my lessons, several drops. And I think um, um, and another thing is also the breathing is incredibly important. And um, I've been trying the Alexandra technique for the last month. And it's not about posture, it's about recognizing what your body's doing. So say if you tense up, you might be, you might get a, say, a sore shoulder from playing, but you may be like this all the time. And if you recognize what you're doing and there's sort of techniques they use to help relax the body, uh -huh. and then unbeknown to you, you suddenly become more relaxed. Um, and also the very um, deep breathing from the belly before you perform. So I think, there's a lot of mental preparation as well as just the the technical side. That's my take on it anyway. Not that it, not that I've ever mastered the nerves, but that's kind of where I'm at. Well, I think you're getting a lot better than you used to be, aren't you? Yeah. So um, as we've said before, you know, when you first joined this group and we did some little performances to each other, you were quite nervous and it did affect your playing a little bit. and just being familiar with that has helped you a lot. Oh. But um, I like what you were saying about um, post well, not, not so much posture, but being aware of certain parts becoming tense. And I notice very often with some of my students, I have to say to them, your shoulders are going up, your neck is disappearing. <laughs> they, they, they do this, you know, as they get into a difficult passage or something. And it's all about relaxing. I just had a lesson with Daniel and we were talking about doing trills and the way to get to playing fast is to just relax and play it slowly first of all and make sure as you speed it up it doesn't have any tension creeping in and then you can play things much more quickly oh. because you're relaxed. Um, Daniel, how do you cope with nerves? I don't particularly well but it's just you just got to push through it. It's a bit like, uh, you know, how do you get to Carnegie Hall, right? You practice, practice, practice. So that's a, that's the way I try and do it. I guess, you know, the couple of times I performed on, on, on this session, and I guess when I did the exam as well, the, the thing I found helpful was just trying to forget there's anybody watching. Mm -hmm. I guess when you don't have a physical audience, it's easier to do. And I just try and pretend I'm in practice mode, which is when I play 100% perfect every time, um, as I'm sure everyone, everyone else. Does. Oh, yeah. All my students tell me exactly the same. Yeah, you know, exactly. when I was practicing, it was perfect. They always tell me the same. And when you come and listen to me, it always goes wrong. <laughs> yeah. But I've noticed, you know, even, you know, uh, I think I, 
uh, said, you know, I've been, I've been having lessons with you now for about three, maybe four months. Um, during the lessons, I used to feel a bit of pressure and a lot of nerves. And actually, I feel that that's ebbing away. And mm-hmm. I think it's just a bit more belief in my <coughs> own abilities and confidence. Um, so, yeah, I think you just got to have a bit of self-belief. You, pra- you know, we all practised hours and hours and hours on the same piece, the same bars again and again. We know we know it. Mm-hmm. So we just got to trust ourselves. Yeah. And that goes back to what Lorna was saying about preparation. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's that have, having that confidence in yourself based on your preparation. If you haven't prepared, you've got every reason to be nervous because you don't know you can do it. But if yeah. you practice well and, you know, done everything you can do, then there should be no reason why it should go wrong. Um, Terence, you're two pence worth or uh-huh. two cents worth. You're in America, aren't you? If I remember. In America? No, Salisbury. In Salisbury, England. Oh, Salisbury. I'm thinking of someone else. I don't apologise. <laughs> you're two pence worth then, <laughs> not cents. I don't think about nerves. I think if you concentrate on what you're doing, then you become less aware of around you. Uh-huh. So, uh, it's, and that, you know, um, and probably practice if you can on front of people, but uh, I don't have any special formula. It's okay. something you've got to get used to, I suppose. Yeah, so you have, um, you concentrate on what you're doing rather than what's around you. Yeah. yeah. Now, a little development on that particular thought. I find I like to sort of um, suggest to my students to just become absorbed in the music itself rather than the notes. All right. Um, and some of my uh, younger students, I actually got them to, um, okay, there was like a, a, a lower grade piece, maybe some of you remember, oh, Lorna, you probably remember the Stowaway? Oh, yes, yeah. Yes. Okay, one of the lower grades recently, a couple of years ago. And I just wanted them to get into that sort of like someone hiding in the bottom of a ship and that sort of mentality. And I got them to find a picture on Google, print it out, and then just stick it on the top of their page and just think about that picture while they were playing and get into the music rather than just playing the notes, you know? And as you become absorbed in the whole point of what you're doing, you know, it's not it's not a technical exercise, you're there as an artist, aren't you? And you're trying to create certain emotions to your audience. And if you can do that, and you get a little bit of feedback from your audience as well, if it's live, even the examiner is a live audience, then it's sort of, the adrenaline has a positive effect rather than you just tensing up about notes all the time. So that's a helpful thought for anyone. Um, uh, Zhangji, what do you think? Have you had nerves? I get very nervous at like basically anything. So, I, like you said, like getting lost in the piece is like easy to cope because if I don't, then I'm just thinking about every little mistake I make and that makes me like make even more mistakes if that makes sense. So, yeah. Absolutely makes, makes sense, yeah. And, um, very often, this sort of like the, the debriefing after an exam, I ask my students, how did the exam go? And they just give me a list of everything that went wrong. <laughs> and I think psychologically, we do tend to just focus on the, the negative. We just think about all the wrong things. Whereas actually these examiners, they're not just looking for all the wrong things you did and oh, you lost a mark there, you lost a mark there, you lost a mark there. But they're looking for musicality as well and all the positives. And there's lots of, you know, well, they say, oh, I played loads of wrong notes. And then they go and get a, a merit or a distinction. But it's a lot more to it than just playing the notes, isn't it? So if you can just, as you say, focus on the music. And then a wrong note, everyone plays a wrong note sometimes. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, and if you can get through that and not let it distract you. And, oh, I've got a wrong note. And you stop concentrating on the rest of the piece. It shouldn't be a big issue for your overall sort of performance. Um, Kate, come back to you last, because you're the one who asked the question in the chat earlier. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> what do you feel Some, about Sometimes I feel that when I sit down to play a piece in front of somebody, 
I almost go blind and lose my, you know, I can't see the sheet notes at all because, um, you know, because of nerves. Other times I'm all right to start off with, and then I start losing concentration and being distracted by something else, and then the nerves kick in because I've lost it a little bit. So it's uh -huh. just trying to keep focused and not allow it to, you know, to be distracted or to go blind when I look at the sheet music and uh -huh. mm. so yeah, I, don't, so I don't know if I've spoken to somebody else, you know, and they've said, you know, a couple of people and they've said, one of them said they felt the same, that they almost just, it's like they can't see the sheet music because of their nerves. And it's just trying to find a way around that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, so it seems like it's actually a, quite a common theme. It's a, a psychological issue, nothing to do with being able to play the piano at all, mm. is it? Oh, no. What instrument you're playing. 